name's Jen Whitmore, and I'm 31. My husband and I have been together since we were 17 and 21, and my daughter is 11 now, and my son is six. So the last three years um, have kind of been a challenge. Um, my husband and I have been pregnant three times, and to uh, no success, so all three uh, were miscarriages and we lost them all right around the second trimester mark. Um, I remember going through the motions basically over the last couple of years because I was really not functioning. Um, I was so depressed and out of it that I just kind of made it through the day. Um, it was really hard on me because I think after the first one, we kind of thought, you know, it was just a fluke. It happens to people. It is what it is. And and so we got a, um, pregnant as quickly as possible the second time. And we were excited, you know, this was going to be fine. Everything was going to be good this time. And what I didn't realize at the time is I think I was basically just trying to fill that void that I lost from the first miscarriage. And so once we got around to that second trimester mark again and we lost the second child, um, I kind of fell into a black hole. Um, it was really, really hard for me to get up. Um, I was so sad. Um, and then the third time around, we actually kind of got pregnant by accident. So we were really happy and excited and we were kind of like third time's the charm, which I know sounds silly, but we were just so excited that we might get like another chance here to have our third child. And again, right around the same time, we lost the third one. And I did really well, you know, like functioning as far as going to my job and making sure the kids were fed and the house was clean, but I was just kind of going through the motions of life and not enjoying anything. I was really sad. Of course, there were so many people around me that were getting pregnant again, and I pretended to be happy for them. And I really was happy for them because it wasn't my child that they were pregnant with, but I was just really sad that I had lost my own. But after a while, I basically came to the realization whether it was the chat that my husband and I had or whether I came to it my own or it was a godsend whatever I figured out that I had to move on I couldn't continue to live in this um, black space of sadness forever and I didn't want to I didn't want to be that way anymore but because I had let myself get so sad that it was very hard to be able to climb back out you were so far down that you were just clawing every day to get back. And so I was just a zombie all the time because I couldn't, I couldn't pull myself out from where I had let myself fall. So I ended up um, basically turning to God, which is where I should have gone in the first place, but I was just so sad and disheartened that I couldn't do anything. So once I finally made the realization of what I needed to do, I turned the radio off um, unless I was listening to Christian music. Um, I listened to sermons from church, from other Christian speakers constantly. Um, I woke up in the morning with a Bible verse next to my bed. I posted them all over my car. I had sticky notes like stuck all over my car. I would go to work and I work at the gym, obviously at the time. So I was telling people, you know, three more reps, one, two, three, as I was saying my Bible verses in my head. And that's basically how I started to turn everything around and get back to It wasn't like a one day or a one week or even a one month turnaround. It took me a really long time. Um, and here we are a full year past my very last surgery. Um, and I am better. I am happy now. I am where I was before. I feel like all of this happened. It was a long, sad season, but I 
with God's help, pulled myself out of that. I pulled myself out of that hole. I'm no longer there, and I, I can't even go back there. Like, when I talk about it, um, I don't necessarily get so sad anymore. Like, I'm still sad that um, I lost my children, but I know that I'm going to be able to see them again because I believe in what God offers as heaven. So I know that they're there, and I imagine their faces. So when I get emotional about it, I... I know that I'm going to be able to see them again in heaven and I don't have to be sad because they're not here with me. So I'm just thankful for the children that I do have and I just try to live every day as full as I can and not be sad of what I lost because it took me so long to get out of that space that I never ever ever want to go back. positive thing, if anything, that I got out of it is that my relationship with God has gotten so much better and I never have to go back. I never have to go back to where I was or even before my loss, where I was then. Everything is just forward and I want to turn that now into just the involvement that I have gotten in with church and with the groups that I've started. Um, I've been in fitness for 12 years at this point. I played a lot of sports in high school town and as an adult um, I worked at the gym and it was basically so that I could lose weight um, after I had you know gotten pregnant with my children but now I want to teach other people that they can get there and they can get there with God's help with other people around them and I'm doing it through fitness and so this just want to tell people that life happens and you can't expect everything to be perfect all the time because it definitely won't be. And stuff happens and you don't want to deal with it, but you have to. So at this point, this is where I'm starting my journey over. And I just want to help other people along their journey and tell them that it doesn't matter the circumstances, but you can pull yourself out of it. And this is how I'm showing the world and shining my light on helping people do this, do what I'm currently doing. given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind.